Okay, we are live. This is Matt from XL Pro Tech, and today I'm going to be taking you through a battery replacement on an ASUS Vivo Tab KOX. Uh, model number is Mike Echo 400C, and uh, not a bad little tablet if I may say so myself. The problem we're having with this one is that there is a uh, it will it won't really charge up much past 15 percent so what we're going to do we're going to open this up and i don't actually have the replacement battery yet uh, there are plenty available for me to purchase so i just need to get that in but what i will do i'll show you the taking out of the old battery uh, the disassembly of this uh, this tablet etc etc up to the point where we can put in a new battery when we when i do have it okay so uh first thing to do let's crack off this uh, this back panel so what we're aiming to do <coughs> excuse me is get into is crack open the plastic this white plastic back from the front uh, front screen there so you're going to be using a plectrum or something similar. You can also use something like this to uh, to just sort of gently break out the plastic uh, clips. So just work your way around the edges. Oh, one important bit before you get too far: take out the SD card slot. I don't know if you can just about see that there. Uh, but yeah, just push it in and it should just spring out and there you have your plastic SD slot uh, just because that oh and make sure you've turned it off as well let's turn it off so it's no good to anyone with it being turned on because we're going to be taking the battery out so yes before you crack open the plastics make sure you take the SD card slot out and make sure that it is powered down <laughs> Right, uh, again, so we're just going to be working our way around with our plectrum or our opener, whichever way that may be. So it's not too bad to open, isn't this? Just be careful on uh, the side with the with the audio port so there we go we're off um, I just seem to have got a little bit of a off the camera there that, that just sticks over the camera I'll just pop it to one side and we'll stick the back to one side and what we have is this here let's try and zoom in a bit more so you can have a better look and try and line ourselves up there Right. Everything seems to have gone a bit winky plonky. Right. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to disconnect these tabs here and this tab here as well. So there is some just bear me a second folks seems to be an intermittent issue with my uh, my camera at the minute yeah no signal <laughs> typical that'll teach me for trying to zoom in okay no signal what are you doing? I'll just reset the connection. Okay. That seems to be a bit better. Right, so yeah, what I was saying is we need to get rid of this uh, this yellow tape here. Yellowy orange tape, captain tape, by the looks of things. You should just be able to peel this off. So we'll go for this side here. And just make sure that you're not ripping out the cables when you're doing it. And put that tape to one side for future use later. And we just flick that up. That connection there. And give it a gentle tug. And that comes out 
just like that. We're also going to need to take off this tape here as well because that is holding it down onto the other side. There, there's some some more boards. There's a sort of board over here. But we'll just take off the tape for now and we should be able to leave them in place while we take out the battery. So again we'll flick up that to connect to there. And again a little gentle tug there and again on this one here. Pull up that little bar, gentle tug, we'll bring it out nicely. Right. Now is a time where we need to take the battery actually out. So this battery is held in by a number of screws. So let's work our way around. We've got one there. And we have... Oh, that's the actual where our battery connects to the motherboard. Let's take that out as well while we're working our way around. And just a gentle, oh, remove that, pull that up out of the way there. And there's another screw just to the right hand side of that. And just make sure there's no nothing under here. I wouldn't have thought so, but... As with all these, most of the repairs that I do, uh, this isn't a known product to me. No. Okay, there's nothing under there. It's just a bit of protective foil. Uh, but there potentially might be something underneath there. Yep, there is. So, just under that bit of cloth there, there's another screw for the battery. And we've got a, another screw there. This is also holding in this uh, this little speaker device here. So we might need to take the speaker out as well. But we'll see about that later on. And put a screw there. So that's it. Basically, just methodically work your way around the unit. You don't need to. Uh, go mad and is there anything under here under this bit of tape let's have a look oh my goodness me I've just noticed the, uh, the picture going weird again right so let's just peel that away and yes we do we've got another screw just down there let's take that out and there's another screw right there as well on the corner and another screw just there Okay, so our battery should be loose now. Uh, let's just give it a quick... See if we can get it out. Ah, okay. I've got a feeling that we're going to have to take this speaker section out here. If you... Uh, if you Let's just reset this camera. I'm not sure what the problem is today. This camera just seems to be going all over the place. Jumping about. Right, okay, so yeah, what I was saying is that this speaker area here, we're just gonna have to take off this yellow orange tape. So I think it's held down by another. Yeah. Remove that orange tape and we're gonna take out the speaker section here.
the screws that are holding in the actual speaker are actually holding in the battery as well so until we actually remove those we're not going to be able to get to it so just gently pry out this speaker so that we can remove the battery put that to one side you can take it fully out if you really want to uh, I don't see any need for, for this part of this stream right So just make sure you've got all the screws. Uh, I think we do. Pretty sure that we do. And we're just going to try and lift this up. Lift the battery out. Oh. Just work your way around. Let's get up something a bit more substantial to get this out with. Try not to bend the battery too much. So it is actually held in a bit by some glue. So just be careful when you are taking it out. Okay, yeah, you can just about see the glue there that's holding it in place. And it is basically, there's a, there's a metal bit on the back as well that's... I'm assuming that when we get our new battery, I'm not sure that this metal part will be on the back of it, so we're probably going to have to take this battery, uh, this, this section out. <coughs> And transfer it onto our new battery but uh, we'll see when we get there but this is the basics for taking the battery out um, what you would then do is just put your new battery in you might need to take it as I say you might need to take it out of this uh, out of this metal section here when you get your new battery so just take it out carefully just be careful do not uh, don't use metal tools when you're uh, when you're getting this out just carefully go around with plastic tools. If you use metal tools, uh, there is a risk that you could potentially pierce the battery um, and then you'll get some fireworks. You don't want to do that. So it seems a fairly simple job to do that. I'm not going to bore you by doing it now. You could even just gently, uh, gently squeeze it from the back and you can hear it just sort of coming away gently there. So that's not a big job. Uh, so put your new battery in there, screw it back in again, cover any of the components that we've uh, we've uncovered there, put the put your uh, leads back in and seal up. Now this uh, this this unit's actually quite hard, quite difficult to seal back up again. Uh, you do need a bit of pressure. Try not to do uh, too much pressure otherwise you're going to be shattering your LCD and your digitizer so if you do have a crack in your digitizer already and you'd need to change your battery uh, just be prepared because your digitizer might crack because there it does require quite a bit of pressure to put the to pop the back off and put it back on again okay uh, I'm gonna leave it there for now thank you very much for watching if you want to support the channel there is a link in the description below and We'll, uh, we'll have some more stuff for you this week, later on this week, I think. 
uh, possibly some uh, Toshiba laptop so we've got some uh, possibly an iPad maybe so uh, jo be sure to join the screen the, there the stream and uh, we'll see you on the next one thank you very much for watching bye bye